My brother was driving go-karts when he was 10 years old, so that would have put me at four. And I vaguely remember him going to the go-kart track and I would get to come along and I would watch him. And when I was uh, six years old, my dad uh, brought a go-kart home for me and I got to drive it around our driveway. I put on my snowmobile suit because I thought it was the closest thing to a race suit that I had and put on my snowmobile helmet and drove it around. That was the first time I ever drove a go-kart. And then when I was eight, I finally got to start racing go-karts. I actually started racing go-karts at uh, John Menard's go-kart track in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. After that, it was just all about having fun at the go-kart track, you know? I mean, I was just a young preteen at the, at the races, mostly hanging out with my friends at the go-kart track, just like kids do. And uh, I wouldn't say I was ever something phenomenal at racing go-karts when I was young. I was just doing it for fun. And then um, when I was 12 years old, uh, something clicked and go-kart racing came more naturally to me. Driving was, was, I wouldn't say easier, but I started doing well and won a track championship when I was 12 years old. So that was my first time really thinking, oh, I'm pretty good at this. When I was 16 years old, my parents got me a, a school to go to the Skip Arbor Racing School. So when I was 16, just like a lot of the kids that I race against now, you know, they got to go to a racing school and drive a race car for their first time when they were 16. I mean, I thought I did well at the school. Driving a race car was super fun, and my parents pretty much told me, you know, well, you can go and try out for this uh, Skip Barber Karting Scholarship shootout, or you can keep racing go-karts. And so I kind of weighed my options and went, well, you know, if I keep racing go-karts, I'm gonna keep having fun and enjoying it, or if I go do this shootout thing, you know, I might, that might be my last time ever really driving, sort of like, you know, that would be my last shot. And so as a 16 year old, I just wanted to keep having fun and driving go-karts, which I think is, makes me different from a lot of the kids that are, are racing nowadays. And so I just went back to racing go-karts um, all the way up until I was 19 years old. And then, so when I was a, a freshman in college, I went to college because being a, having a career in racing was always something that I wanted to do, but I had no way of doing it or means of doing it really. You know, my, my family wasn't going to financially support me in racing, so I went to college just like every other regular kid did, went to the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire and my freshman year I decided to go back and try out for the Skip Barber Karting Scholarship shootout and ended up winning a, a scholarship to start racing Skip Barber cars. I've come so far and a lot of times I look back at it and wonder how in the world did I make it here unless there's some reason that I should continue on. Like things have happened as far as getting here that are just almost like miraculous or magical, you know, that a lot of times when I sit back and look at it, I have no idea how I made it this far sometimes. People will ask me that, they'll be like, well, how'd you get here? And I'll be like, well, a lot of uh, good fortune for sure. And lots of, obviously lots of hard work, you know, just being able to, to start from essentially ground zero, no budget, you know, no money to, to build up to having raised enough to race in three seasons of professional racing. Right now I'm using the Mazda Road to Indy as my ladder to climb up to the top of motorsports basically. So Mazda has a great scholarship program which I've gotten to take advantage of twice in my career, once in Skip Barber and then once for USF 2000 and it's been a serious boost, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to essentially help me continue racing. So without Mazda and the Mazda Road to Indy I have pretty much them to thank for getting me as far as I have. The biggest thing that drives me is uh, making sure that I'm happy with, with my life and what's, what's going on, you know. As soon as I'm not enjoying racing or it's not making me happy anymore, then what would be the point? But for me, racing is the thing that makes me the happiest in the world. And so as long as that's still happening, I'm going to keep on pursuing it.